Understanding how your body functions are essential for good sex. When it comes to sex, everyone has different preferences, so don't stress about being average. People have sex in a variety of ways. Sex isn't a one size fits all situation. What you enjoy may not be appropriate for someone else. When it comes to sexual habits and desires, everyone is different, but here are some typical types of sexual activity. Whether you're masturbating alone or with a companion, sex, oral, vaginal, and anal. Kissing. Brush your bodies against each other. Making use of sex toys. Phone sex, often known as sexting, is a type of sexual activity that takes place over the phone. Watching or reading porn. Different things turn people on, so expressing what you enjoy and don't like allows your partner to know what's acceptable and what's not. Is sex beneficial to your health? Healthy sex life is beneficial to your mental and physical well being. Sex may help you form a bond with another person, and sexual pleasure has several health advantages, whether or not you're with a partner. Your body produces a natural high when you have an orgasm. Endorphins, which are chemicals that inhibit pain and make you feel good, are released. There is a slew of other health advantages to sexual pleasure, improved overall health, more restful sleep, improved self esteem. Improved fitness, reduced strain and stress, a longer existence. How frequently do people engage in sexual activity? There is no such thing as regular sex since everyone is different. The frequency with which you have sex is determined by a number of factors, including whether you have a partner, what else is going on in your life, and the strength of your sex drive, desire to have sex. Sex drives vary from person to person. Stress, drugs you're taking, and other physical, mental, and lifestyle variables can all affect your sex desire. Some people want to have sex every day or many times a day, while others don't want to have sex at all. Asexual people are those who have no sexual attraction to anyone. How can I have a sexual life that is both healthy and enjoyable? Whether you have a partner or not, having a healthy sex life is about taking care of yourself. Physically, this includes using safer sex, being tested for STDs on a regular basis, avoiding unwanted pregnancies, and consulting a doctor or nurse if you have sexual dysfunction or other health issues. Healthy sexuality also includes feeling good about yourself, experiencing sexual pleasure, being comfortable with your sexual orientation and gender identity, and having healthy relationships. Knowing what you do and don't want to do sexually and being able to express it to your partners is key to having a good sex life. Your spouse must respect your limits, and you must respect your partner's boundaries. How do I bring up the topic of sex with my partner? Talking to your spouse about your likes and dislikes, as well as your boundaries, can help you maintain a good relationship and a pleasant sexual life. What is the best way for me to communicate with my spouse about my sexual preferences? You could anticipate a new partner to know what they're doing sexually, only to be disappointed when things don't seem right. Fortunately, there's a simple method to convert a mediocre sex encounter into a fantastic one communication. Because everyone is different, your partner may have no idea what gets you thrilled, no matter how experienced they are. You must communicate with your spouse what you enjoy and what makes you feel good. Even if you've been together for a long time, it's important to maintain the lines of communication open since what feels good or what you're interested in doing might change over time. Some people learn about themselves by having intercourse with others, while others learn about their bodies by masturbating. Learning how to experience orgasms on your own might make having one with someone else a lot simpler. What part of your body do you like to be touched? How much pressure is comfortable? How fast or slow should you go? By masturbating in front of your spouse or guiding their hand, mouth, or another body part, you may show them what you want. You can also tell them what feels nice, or not. Talking about sex might be uncomfortable or embarrassing, but it can also be a huge turn on. And it's possible that your spouse may appreciate you bringing it up. If you're apprehensive, start by asking them what makes them feel good or what kind of sexual activities they enjoy. Then you may discuss what makes you happy.